Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video today I'm going to be showing you how to do a soak off and a set of gel polish. So you'll need some soak off clips, some cotton pads cut into halves or some lint free wipes. You'll need some pure acetone and you will also need a 100 180 grit file. I'm using a pure nails file, cuticle pusher and some cuticle nippers. You'll need a dust off brush to remove all of the dust and debris from the nails and the hands. You'll also need some dehydrator which I'm using prep and scrub again from pure nails and I'm using the hair Halo gel polish range using the color Aphrodite and I'm also using a dotting tool to clean up. So I'm coming in with the 180 grit side of my file to remove all of that top coat from the top of the previous set, making sure that I get all areas of the nail, including the side walls and the free edge. And then I'll be coming back with some cotton pads soaked in pure acetone and putting on a soak off clip. You can see as well that I'm taking care not to touch the natural nail with that 180 grit file. We don't want to cause any unnecessary filing to that area of the natural nail. So I'm just literally working on the area where the previous product is on and making sure that I don't touch that um, natural nail with the 180 grit file. Coming in now to do the actual soak off, so I've taken those cotton halves and fully saturated them in 100% pure acetone and then I'm popping them onto the nail and securing the clip, making sure that the clip is properly secured so that the acetone fully penetrates into that product so that it easily comes off with our cuticle scraper. You could also wrap the cotton in um, foil. You can use hairdressing foil, which is great because it's already in thin strips and you just need to tear it off. That's great for doing a soak off as well. I just prefer to use the clips and my clients prefer them as well. So I'm coming in now with my metal cuticle pusher and using that to scrape off the product from the nail. It shouldn't be difficult to remove this product. What I do is I set a timer for eight to 10 minutes. Once that timer is complete, I come in and the product should be ready for removing. So you can see that it's coming flaking off the nail really easily. I'm not having to use any hard pressure. I'm literally just scraping this away from the nail. I'm coming up from the cuticle towards the free edge and then I go back down from the free edge towards the cuticle. If there are any small amounts of product left behind, we'll come back in with our 100 grit side of our file to remove that later. So you don't need to panic if there are any little bits of product left on the nail. Hope you can get a good view of what I'm doing here. This was my first time filming one of my clients with my new tripod. So it's I'm still learning, but I hope you can get a good idea of what I'm doing. So coming in now with the 100 grit side of my file, addressing the free edge first of all and taking down the length. This particular client of mine has been coming to me for a couple of years now and she likes to keep her nails short. She's not a lover of great long nails so we always take them back down, you know, right down to fingertip length. Um, I'm then going across the nail, side walls and at the cuticle area with, again with that 100 grit side of my file to remove any excess product and to remove the shine from the natural nail which has grown up since our last service. As you can see as well, I'm using the 100 grit side of my file to remove that excess product that didn't come off with our soak off. So just lightly buffing over those areas to remove those last few bits of product. And this is totally fine. As long as you're using the right pressure and the right file, you won't damage the natural nail. Moving on to cuticle work now, I'm just using my metal cuticle pusher to firmly but 
still not hurting my client, remove all of that non-living tissue from the nail plate and push back that cuticle. Once I've done that, I'll come in with a pair of cuticle nippers and trim off any excess cuticle. But as you can see, because my client has regular nail services, she doesn't have bad cuticles. They're not overgrown, they're not particularly dry. They're really, really good. So it wasn't a big job for me today. Um, the cuticle push that I'm using, I'm not sure where I got it from. If I can find a similar one, I'll link it down below. I'm a bit late to the party on all of the new cuticle and prep tools that are coming out. There's some fantastic companies out there um, bringing out new tools, which are just amazing. I have ordered a couple of new tools from Nail Tech Network. So once they arrive, I will do a video with those to show you them. Once I've done that, I just flip the cuticle tool around and use the other end to scrape away all of that excess cuticle and non-living tissue before I come back in with the nippers. So I'm trimming the cuticles now, being really, really careful to only cut that non-living tissue and to not cut the client's living skin. And we don't want to cause any cuts or bleeding or any pain to our clients. So we need to be really, really careful with this part of the service. It is really important to make sure that you remove all of the non-living -tissue, non tissue from the nail plate, because if there's any non-living tissue on the nail plate for any nail service, your enhancement will lift, whether it be gel polish, acrylic or hard gel, you need to make sure that there's none of that non-living tissue left on the nail plate. So I've dusted off all the dust and excess debris from my client's nails and hands and I'm now coming in with some prep and scrub sprayed onto a cotton pad and fully dehydrating and sanitising over those nails, making sure that they're thoroughly clean, that there's no natural oils left on the nails because again, if there's any natural oils left on the nails, your enhancement will lift or peel. So really important step to make sure that these nails are thoroughly cleansed and dehydrated. So base coat time now and this is a really important step. You need to make sure that the nail is thoroughly covered in a thin layer of that base coat. If you don't have the full nail covered in base coat, your gel polish will peel. So as you can see, I start in the middle of the nail and bounce that brush down towards the cuticle area, flaring the brush and making sure I get as close to the cuticle as I possibly can without touching the skin. If you touch the skin or the cuticle area with your base coat, color coat or top coat, again you will get peeling and lifting so it's really important to make sure that you've got a really nice neat cuticle area As well as making sure that you've got that cuticle area nice and neat and not touching the skin, you need to make sure that you cap the free edge of the nail and in the, then in that case it means that if you do get any shrinkage, the gel polish shrinks right over the nail and you don't get it shrinking back down the free edge and it also means this will avoid getting any chipping or lifting at the free edge as well. So coming in with my first layer of colour now and I'm using a glitter polish today so it's a little bit more difficult to show you what I'm doing but I am using Aphrodite from the Northern Lights range from Halo Gel Polish. Same process as with the base coat, starting in the centre of the nail and bouncing that down towards the cuticle making sure that I flare the brush to get a nice cute, tight cuticle area and then coming up the side walls and making sure to cap the free edge. You can purchase Halo Gel Polish at Nail Tech Network. You can use my discount code Dolly for a discount on your order. And at the time of making this video, they did have an offer on for six bottles for the price of five. So you can take advantage of that with the discount code Halo Spring. If you're watching this video after that offer has finished, then you can still use the discount code Dolly to get a discount on your order. And you can use that discount site-wide on Nail Tech Network. 
So I'm just going to each nail here, same process, bounce that colour up towards the cuticle, make sure it's nice and neat, coming up the nail, down the side walls and making sure to cap that free edge. You don't need to make this first coat perfect, this is our foundation of colour and then with our second coat we'll make sure it's really opaque and that the whole nail is completely covered with that lovely colour. These glitters are lovely, they have a beautiful colour shift to them so you'll see as the camera moves and as the nail moves they sort of have like a red purpley tinge and a gold greeny tinge to them. So coming in now with the second coat of colour, same process, it's starting in the centre of the nail, bouncing down to the cuticle, flaring that brush, making sure it's nice and neat, side walls up the centre of the nail and capping that free edge. This is where we're going to make sure that our colour is completely opaque. Usually with Halo gel polishes that is never an issue, they are so pigmented, they are my favourite gel polish for sure. With the glitters you do need to be a little bit more careful, particularly with this range, to make sure you get a full coverage. If you do get any product onto the skin it's really important to remove that before you cure for a couple of reasons the first one being we don't want to get any peeling or lifting of our gel polish from the nail plate and we also don't want any product on the skin it may cause a reaction and of course while it's curing in the lamp it could burn your client very unlikely that that would happen um but it's just really important to make sure you remove that there's a couple of ways you can remove the product you can just use your own nail as you see me doing there you can also use a dotting tool as you saw me doing previously on the first coat or you could use a small brush with some alcohol on it depending what sort of mesh you've made really but if your application is good you shouldn't really have that many problems with that Now for our final coat and this is obviously our top coat, I'm using the non-white top coat from Halo today. I love this top coat because it has a really lovely shine that doesn't seem to dull. So exactly the same process as before for our application and we want to make sure that we completely cover all of that colour, make sure we wrap in those free edges to make sure we don't get any chipping or lifting of our product. Um, this is obviously probably one of the most important steps to make sure that everything is sealed in properly otherwise you will get problems with the product peeling or lifting so going through each nail as before and then obviously doing a cure so for all of these um, layers of polish so base coat color coats and top coat I do a 60 second cure some lamps you can do 30 seconds in a UV lamp you would need to do two minutes pure layer the base coat I believe you can actually do for 10 seconds but while I'm working on the other hand the client's got their hand in the lamp anyway so it might as well be in there for the 60 seconds and it means that their hands are out of the way and nice and tidy and they're not moving their hand around and getting any dust or fluffies onto the nail So just finishing off now and I've decanted some of my cuticle oil onto a cotton pad and I'm using that to wipe over the areas of the skin where we did our soak off to rehydrate the skin and to re-nourish. I'm also allowing the cuticle oil just to rub into that top coat slightly to give it an extra shine. You do need to make sure that your product has cooled down before you do this or it will dull. Um, I use cotton pads or to put up on the cuticle oil just simply for hygiene reasons so I'm not using the same brush on all of my clients even though I sanitize my clients hands I just prefer to do that. I actually make my cuticle oil at home it's homemade so if you're interested in seeing a video on that please let me know. Once I have done the cuticle oil I do come back in with a bit of ice pro alcohol to remove the oil from the nails just to make sure that we get a lovely shine and there's no excess oil left on those nails. 
go guys there's the finished result i hope you found this video interesting and helpful i do get a lot of questions about my gel polish application and how i get it to last so long i do get about three to four weeks or even longer out of each application that i do and it really is just down to good product and good application and practice 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 until you get it right if you have any questions or comments for me you can leave them down below or you can message me on instagram or facebook the majority of products used in this video today can be purchased on Nail Tech Network website. Again, you can use that discount code Dolly for a discount site wide. I absolutely love the Halo Gel Polish range and I thoroughly recommend it, especially for beginners. Special thanks to my client Jen for letting me film this today. It was my first time filming a client and was a bit nervous, but she was really great. So thanks for watching. I really enjoyed um, doing this video for you. I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe and I'll see you guys again soon in the next video.